What is going on guys? Ronnie Rick Smith here with USA Digi. So I wanted to show you this Optimize Press 3.0 little bug that I found. And it's nothing to do with Optimize Press having a bug. It's actually to do with another plugin that I use. So just in case you stumbled across this issue and don't know what the hell's going on, I wanted to create this video so that you could see what the issue is. So if you ever tried one of those plugins that when you click on a link and you got it, you know, linked to something else on the page and it scrolls down really easy. Well, that's what I'm using on my website here. And I'm going to show you what happens when you use it. So I love the plugin, but what happens is when I use it and it's uh, activated, basically, if I go back to edit anything on my page, my boxes that optimized press pops up to edit stuff with doesn't come up. You'll see the frames as I'll show you in a second, but the actual boxes to change things or edit things doesn't show up. So that's an issue, that's the bug. So you have to deactivate that plugin every time you go to edit something on your web page and then go back and activate it. It's kind of a pain. So in case you are getting this issue yourself, this is the way what you have to do if you're gonna use it. I haven't tried another plugin that does the same thing yet. Maybe the other one won't have an issue with it. I may try that. And if it does work, I'll do an update video to this one to let you guys know. So let's get into it. So here I am on the USA Digi homepage. Of course we do video stuff, right? I'll just scroll down to show you a couple of things here. We do explainer videos. This is only a local service, guys, for the Lafayette, Louisiana area. So, well, we do do explainers for worldwide because it's all digital, right? But as far as like interviews for, you know, places that are close, I have to be able to go there, right? And the same thing for a commercial. So anyway, so basically what I'm using it for is I have a spot here that's anchored to the pricing link up here. So let me show you how that works. So if I click that, it scrolls down nice and easy, right? So pretty cool. But like I said, when I go into my WordPress here, let me go to my pages. Well, let me just show you here. It is right here, the plugin, Easy Smooth Scroll Links. So there are other plugins that does this type of effect. Like I said, I haven't tried them yet. Maybe another one won't cause this issue. I haven't, I don't know because I really haven't tried any others besides this one. But what I have to do is I have to come here and deactivate it each time to be able to edit something on my page. So that's kind of a pain. So I'm, like I said, I might look for another one later. But let me show you what it does, okay? It's activated right now. So if I go to my Optimize Press 3 here, 3.0, and I'm going to actually, let me go to my pages, but that's what I'm gonna be using. As you can see, I still have the old one. Didn't care for the old one too much because of all the different saves you had to do. This one's way better. I mean, I still use the old one. I did use it and I still use it for several pages that I still have, but yeah, it's kind of a pain to save all those different things. Let me go up here to home. Okay, I'm gonna edit with Optimize Press. This is the new Optimize Press. So it actually loads the pages from the cloud, so it's a lot quicker. Okay, so as you can see, when I mouse over things, I can like click on them. Okay, there's one pop-up box that I can change. No, there's still one issue, guys, because when you click on one of these texts like this, there's supposed to be a text box that comes up where you can actually change the text of this, the color and whatnot. Same thing with these. So the little text box itself is not popping up. And I'm gonna show you what that is in a moment because I'm gonna deactivate it. So I could actually still change the text. I can use this text box, but this is a totally different text box, right? The other one is gonna be another pop-up box where you see where you can actually change the font size, the font and all that. So yeah, so it's not working. So let me go ahead now, let's go back over here, exit out of here. And let me go back to my plugins here. So I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate the easy scroll. All right, so now let's go back to pages again. Okay, while I'm waiting, well, I don't really need to go in here. Go back to home. 
Okay, let's edit the page again. Okay, let it load back up. So now you'll see what I meant by the little box for the text not popping up, as well as the images one, two as well. So as you can see, it still looks the same, right? But if I click now in here, you'll see this box. Okay, this is an important box because it has all the things that you need, such as changing the text options size styling and all that good stuff so as you can see when you want to highlight a certain text color you get this little black box where you could change that but as far as the text itself such as this box this is what you need for that so that one is not showing up and as well the one for the image right i didn't have the little image pop-up box either so that is the little issue with that that's going on so if you're having that issue and you turned on this little plugin, that's what's going on, guys. It's nothing to do with Optimize Press 3.0 not working properly. So what's going on, it's not Optimize Press 3.0 that's actually having the issue. It's that plugin causing conflictions with the script and the way that Optimize Press 3.0 is designed. So you have to turn it off, okay? So yeah, I hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you were having issues with this yourself so that's what's going on guys so if you decide to download this plugin with optimize press 3.0 and you can find that plugin that I'm using in here in the plugin repository and you know what I think instead of just waiting to make an update video I'm gonna go ahead right now since I'm doing this video and try and install a different plugin that does the same feature and let's see if that's going to fix the issue or if it's going to be the same so let's do that right now. So I'm going to go to my plugins here. We're going to look in the WP repository right here. So we're going to search for, actually, we want to add a new plugin first. We don't want to search the ones we have. Okay, so we're going to search for easy scroll. Scroll, easy scroll, come on. Okay, so we're searching for easy scroll. Let's see. Don't even remember which one I had in there. Add smooth scroll. Let me go back over here and check. Let's see. Easy smooth scroll links. Okay, this is made by Web Factory. So that's this one here. Okay, so this is the plugin that I have. Easy smooth scroll. So this one's not working right as you can tell. So let's find another one. Okay, let's try this one here. jQuery smooth scrolls. Okay, we're gonna install this one. But before I activate it, I might have to deactivate this one first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, activate. Act, wait a minute. Oh, we deactivated it already. Okay, so this one's already deactivated because we did check our sales page and it worked okay. So let's install this one, jQuery Smooth Scroll. Activate that one. I don't know if I have to change some settings. Let's just see if it works off the bat. And you probably don't know how these things work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that in this video too, how you can actually make a link link to something on the page it's really easy to do so i'm going to show you that let's just see if it works so let me refresh the page let me go ahead and go to the top and click this okay so it's working just like the other one did and you notice it's a little faster though so i'm pretty sure that it's gonna have some uh settings in there where i can make it a little bit slow down well the other one did i don't know if this one does but we're about to find out but before we go tweaking in here, I just want to check to see, since we have it activated, I want to check and see if we can edit the page. So let's go back to our pages here. Let's see if we have the same issue, guys. Okay. We got it guys we got it we are working so it was something to do with that plugin right there right that other plugin had some kind of a script the way that it was the scripts was working that was the cause of the issue so this one works so you know what let's go ahead and 
open this in a new dashboard. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the other plugin. These are free plugin guys. It's just this little thing, it's cool, jQuery. So let's go plugins here. I think I've used this one before on the old optimized press as well. Okay, here we go. So this one's working and or this one does not. So let's delete this one. So remember guys, this is the one that works with optimized press 3.0, right? jQuery smooth scroll. If you want to use this little feature, and it's really cool to use, as you can tell. Okay, we got that deleted, so we're good to go. Okay, now I wanna check out some settings so we can kinda tweak it a little bit so we can make it go down a little bit slower, make it nice and easy. Hopefully it does have those options we're about to see. Let's see, details, let me see, it should be down here in my plugins. Let's see, tools, let's see, settings. I'm not sure if they have options. Installation, let's see, reviews, change log. FAQs, let's see here. Okay, I'm looking for PSD. Can you use custom icons? Can I adjust the point? Okay, I'm not seeing anything for like the other one. It was cool because it had a bunch of different options. Like it could do different things. It would go slower or faster and then slow at the end. It had a bunch of different options in it, which was pretty cool. But if the dang thing doesn't work to where I have to go and deactivate it every time, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a pain in the butt. So I'd rather have one with no options that just does a basic job and you know that it works. So that's what I'm gonna do here, but I still wanna see. Usually it would have some kind of options, but I'm not seeing it anywhere in my list here. So I guess we'll just have to use it as is. But let's go ahead now, I wanna show you how this actual works, of course. So go ahead and download the plugin. All right, so that's the one we're using, right? jQuery Smooth Scroll. So here's how it all works, guys. So if you, if I mouse over my pricing uh, menu up here, you can see on the bottom what it says, right? USADG.com question mark OP3 editor equals number one hashtag pricing. And what you do is you scroll down to the location that you actually want it to be. And you see this little blank thing here, if I click it and I go to code, you can see my code that I added in to make that work. Okay, I'm gonna, there's one more thing you have to do. I'm gonna show you that. But you add an HTML code just what I have here, right? And instead of you guys having to try and write this down and pause the video or whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and put it inside the description for you, okay? With some little notes on how to do it as well. But uh, the video will show you how to do it, I'm showing you now, but you'll have that in there anyways. But that will work really quickly for you guys. Make sure you create a little HTML in the section of the page that you want. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you how to set up the link up here. So I'm using a menu here, but you can also link this to a word if you wanted to. But you know, the menu is probably where you want to use it, right? Pricing and we scroll down in the pricing section. So let me show you how that's set up over here. So we would have to go to menus, simply go to menus here. Okay, and as you can see, I have three menus, pricing. So what I did here for the pricing, I'm using a custom link, same one for home as well. But what you would do is you would create your custom link down here, right? Where it says custom links. You put in your address, okay? So the address that you would use is the one that I showed you. That's going to lead to the hashtag in that element section with that code. So let me just show you, but that's what you would do here. And then you just add it to the menu, okay? So let me just show you what I got in here. Just simple hashtag pricing, okay? So that's going to link this menu down to that code, okay? So hashtag pricing, you could be whatever you want. Hashtag whatever else is on the page, like a video or something. Whatever, whatever, however you want to use this, it's like a jump link. But it's going to make it scroll with that plugin, okay? If you just use this in your web page, you could still make the page automatically go to it real quick. As soon as they click the pricing link, it'll go automatically to that section but I like the smooth scroll better. It looks more professional, looks nicer, right? But that's the two codes you need, guys. So you would need to create a custom menu with this in the URL, and you just simply add that HTML code in the section that you want it to scroll to. Really simple to use. So let's go back over here. What I wanna also show you though, is there's two kinds of menus that you can use with Optimize Press. 
if you download the theme editor, you can use that menu, right? And just customize it in here if you want to, or you could use the theme of a theme that you are using. Yeah, it sounds kind of complicated, but if it does sound complicated to you, go and check out the tutorials on the Optimize Press login where you log in and you get all the tutorials about it. Go ahead and log in there and check that out. It'll show you about the menu sections, how to use different menus and stuff. So that's about it for this video, guys. If this video helped you out, leave me a like below. And if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, of course, leave me some comments. Let me know if you've been struggling with this issue or maybe it's just something that you've been wanting to use in your web page and now you know how to use it, right? So cool, cool. If you want other kind of tutorials like this about Optimized Press, guys, let me know in the comments and I'll create them for you. No problem. If you've never used Optimized Press 3.0, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and check it out. All right. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.